Okay, welcome back to the show. And guess who I have with me? Have, we, have I had a spin come on the show before? No. no. Okay, so this is your debut. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, thank welcome. You, thank you, thank you. I'm always hiding behind the scenes. And yeah, today you I'm are not <laughs> always hiding. Faith is entertainment <laughs> correspondent, is a reporter, giving us the best of entertainment stories. So you're always on the scene. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for having me. Today. How are you How doing? Good, I'm great. good, good, good. Faith, sweetie. Don't let me say that thing. Don't say <laughs> then, no, don't let me say it. Don't let me say it. Okay. Uh, they can't even see it from there. No. From, no they can't. And I have this big shirt uh -huh. on. Today. It's always good, so, you know. <laughs> okay, so let's go to our first journey story. Mm -hmm. Ruriel says and tackles her critics, that, um, star critics, saying, I am not my clothes. And she's reacting to the way people have talked about her dressing. Mm -hmm. And she's took, take, she took to Instagram to say that anyone who judges character by outward appearance is definitely not exposed. Not exposed so enough. why do you think that it's such... A, because a lot of people judge people by how they dress. Mm -hmm. And so if you dress a certain way, people tend to look at you as maybe she's a prostitute or she's a this and all of that. So. You know, there's also this, um, this saying that they say you dress the way you want to be addressed. And more often than not, they always address this to just the women and not the men. So mm -hmm. the thing with Uriel over time is, I mean, ever since she came into Limelight, Uriel is one person that has always been very versatile with her mm -hmm. style. She's always, um, she dressed the way she likes. I mean, even if you run into her at events, you see how glamorous she tends to be, or if she, she doesn't even expose too much. So I'm wondering why people are complaining about that. One thing I love about Uriel is her realness. I mm -hmm. love her outspokenness, how she, and I've seen her dressing, I don't know if it's anything out of the... And I wonder I think, why people would criticize Nigerians her. I think Nigerians just have a way of putting you in a certain space if they feel like you're an entertainer. Mm -hmm. You have to always be some sort of classy or okay. over-the-board kind of on top-notch dressing. And she's okay to come out and tell people that, listen, don't put me in a certain space. I can dress the way I want to dress. Mm. She even says that if I post a bikini picture of even a really wearing shorts, don't say you're no longer a good girl. Does that define you? If you wear a bikini picture, say you go to, the, for example, and take a bikini picture, if you go and take a bikini picture, does that make you less? I have bikini pictures that I'm so, so afraid to put out <laughs> because <laughs> I am so worried about how people will end up saying, okay, this one, you're not a good girl anymore, mm. you know? So I think Yurel is also in a certain space like that. She's a good person at heart. What she dress shouldn't, uh, or how she dresses, shouldn't tell who she is. Okay. You know, people shouldn't judge that way. Yeah, so I remember that song that says, I'm not my hair. In this case, I should not be addressed by how I, so if I just, you see me in a bikini tomorrow, please. <laughs> That's my please. Instagram. It's my Instagram. That is not the it, real it's, me. It's not who you are. Uh -huh. What does it matter if I wear a bikini then, tomorrow? What's the big deal? You wear the beach, you wear bikini ah. when you're at the pool. A lot of people at the beach will see you in your bikini. Does yes. that mean that I'm a bad girl? Did anything happen? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's it with um, Uriel. The next story is uh, ASAP Rocky says Trump made his Swedish assault case a little worse. Remember the story when he trended? <laughs> yeah. ASAP Rocky went to Sweden and he was, he was, I think, he was put in prison. I think he assaulted was, someone. Yes. And then he said, he, I think Donald Trump who was president. Then. <laughs> so I feel like the trick is. At that time when Trump was in power, people <laughs> found, found ways to blame Trump for everything. Hmm. Whether it's his fault or not, people just had a way of saying, listen, because Trump said this or because Trump did that. Even, even, even if I want to bring it down to this, our Twitter ban, so there are people who are saying there was a time Trump's Twitter was banned and nothing happened. So people have a way of blaming Trump for everything, mm. which it shouldn't be, man. The man just ruled the way he thought he should. Mm. Anyway, what he did was he put up a documentary about the whole thing and says that he, because then it was a really critical case in terms of needing the president to speak for to him. speak for him. But he says people reached out to him, so I personally do not know him. Mm -hmm. Trump could be heard saying in the film, I don't know him, but I can tell you that he has a tremendous support from the African-American community. So this which is, he does. Which he does, but I mean, this was a documentary ASAP did recently, so I think it was just speaking on the fact that he thought that Trump did not really help Trump, him. He felt like Trump should have come out to say, listen, ASAP is this kind of person, or ASAP is this mm. kind of person. But also, Trump was a, a presidential figure, and there are, there are some things that you can't just come out and mm. say, being who you are. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, there could be a chance that maybe Trump would have been his supporter, but he wants to do it privately instead of coming out to the whole world and saying, and listen, ASAP Rocky is this, ASAP Rocky is that. Mm. Okay. Know? I mean, that's, that's, well, I'm glad he got out and he didn't go. And he's, yeah, he's free He's now. free. Because when I heard this, when it went viral, it was like, wow, wow, I hope it was not going to, because I remember the case of Thames, Thames, mm -hmm. and um, who was it that went to Uganda? Uganda, yes. And they were. And they were imprisoned. It, it was like a big deal in Nigeria <sighs> at that time. 
So it was a big deal. You would suppose that if you were in that kind of situation, you want your government, <laughs> to your come president, and say our president. I can't imagine that <laughs> intervening in your matter. Because they'll say they'll say you flouted the rule of that country. True. Yeah. True. Okay. So Amashala is opening up on how he fought off armed robbers. So I, I read that. I saw it, and I thought Amashala is. Well, thank God you were oh, alive. Wow. But um, I felt like he could have just let some things go and just kept his life. But at the end, even after all, he's still fine. I, I felt like he, because you don't know if they were going to use the machete or a gun yeah, or something they had, you know, to try to injure him. And it wouldn't be the same story today. Mm. He wouldn't be there to be able to come out and say, hey, I, I had this encounter with armed robbers. So I always feel like, save yourself first. You can always recover hmm. all these things. I think when it comes to guys, guys always, especially if they're streets, but yeah, they always want, when it comes to them, um, they always want to, mm -hmm. you know, I can, but you I need can beat to you up. I can, be I can stand careful. up for myself. Because sometimes reflexes, if your reflex is not as fast as you expect, mm -hmm. the arm rubber can just, that one is raving mad and crazy. He can yeah. quickly just... Just do anything, do anything you. and your but life might end up being on the, the flip line. side. I mean, there, there was a time when you would be happy to walk around in this country, at least in some areas, and you feel like you're safe. The rate at which violence and robbery and, I mean, all sorts of illegal things is on the rise now is terrifying. Mm, mm. It, it really just, is. I just want people to be careful. Do not say because I've been robbed before and I, didn't, I could not... Be doing Jackie Chan, I had Jackie the Jackie Chan it style it wasn't with the, amazing. I just if I my own case, I just gave it to them like mm -hmm. you know. If I probably was a red belt or black belter, I probably would Should just they? do so. <laughs> <laughs> but we all need to be careful. Thank God, the bachelor was fine and nothing bad happened. Nothing happened at the end me. of the day. Well, and let's not just fight robbers. Let's just try to be safe. Well, except you can really, really fight the robbers and then nothing bad happens in yeah, the case where you happen, really yeah. can do it well. And I mean, that's if you can work around that, I mean, it's cool. So I think we should just move to the next trending story. Designer Michael Costello apologizes to Leona Lewis for unintentionally humiliating her. Now, what happened was that Chrissy Teigen has been bearing the brunt of a lot of people coming out saying that she abused, she them. abused them. And then, of course, she did a message saying that Michael Costello too abused her. And then no, Michael said that she abused him and stuff like that. And then Leona Lewis, who is a very popular person, said the guy, because when it comes to fitting and things like that, some designers can really be dressing nasty. And, yes. Dressing. And said that she had an experience with him in 2014 where she was supposed to be prepped and then he kept saying you're too big for the dress or something, something, something. And you and know there are a lot of people who don't like that, that line kind of comment because they feel like you're now thinking, oh, I'm overweight or I'm oversized mm. and a lot of them look at it as an abuse or an abusive word, you know, and people are so emotional to some, some things. And I think we all have to be very conscious of how emotional people could be regarding certain issues or certain topics of discussion. So for Chrissy, I think, I think she just felt that way. And it's a good thing that at this point, apologies are flying. Yeah, she's, because now I started from Chrissy Teigen to Michael, but now to Leona Lewis, who is mm -hmm. also saying that, okay, if you could call Chrissy out, I'm going to call you out. But then he's apologized and saying that he didn't know that, uh, yeah. because she said she was left with deep insecurities. That's what I'm saying. It's a good thing that apologies are flying now. And everybody is, because truth be told, you might not know that what you did to someone, the and then you felt a, felt, felt a certain way. And then at the end of the day, you can now just correct it and move on. And move but on. at the end of the day, let's just try and work together because designers do that a lot mm -hmm. once you're not a particular size they look at you and say nah nah you know designers that, also nah. want designers also want someone to wear their dresses and the person would look somewhat like um like a mannequin to 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 showcase how beautiful that dress is so when designers pick a certain model mm -hmm. or they say i want this model to wear my dress it's because they feel like this is the person that will embody what my dress is yes. or that will showcase all the angles of this dress in a beautiful way to attract mm -hmm. the customers mm -hmm. but there's also ways you can not make the client feel, feel a certain terrible, way because yeah. you're not going to get everyone with some people are going to be a lizio body type mm -hmm. so okay first is a celebrity a top celebrity and it's not how would you handle those instances and the person sure. is still a brand it's so you have brand. to be very very careful, careful of all those type of that. things all right down to our last trending story um mecca d stallion is on a good deed to humanity apparently mm -hmm. one of our fans passed away unexpectedly and i think she put down she about eight thousand dollars to support for the funeral for the funeral 
And this is so different. This is something that I would not expect or would not have expected from Mega D Stallion. But it, it was it was a beautiful thing to do. And you know, I feel like you know when they say when they say support because they also know that their fans are one of the biggest things they've mm -hmm. got. Everybody has got fans, whether it's a little fan or a big a big fan base. But she realizes that listen, if I can do this for my fan, it also endears other people to me. True. True. So other True. fans will look at her and be like, oh my God, Megan could do this. That's amazing. You know, mm. we, we love you, Megan. Thank you for standing up and for supporting a fan. Mm. And True. to them, that's not even a lot of money mm. because they can mm. afford it. Mm. Mm. It's not just when you are releasing music. People want to see your human side. Yes. They want to see the things that you can do that make you a human being. And I think that most celebrities, a lot of celebrities have done that, maybe covering the cost I mean, of this yes. for one person. And it's better to be known for just something mm. good you do than all the negative talks that come around. Okay, okay. I think that's that's really it. Now, what's happening in the world of entertainment, apart from what I brought on trending, is there any other thing that is going on huh. that we could just, you know, quickly chop chop? Big Biggest part is that a lot of people are still looking forward to the ban lift of Twitter, okay. which I feel like personally I'm looking forward to it. I turn mm. on my Twitter this morning and I'm like, God, when is so this that's just like the major entertainment story. It's not. It's not the major. There are a lot of things happening. It's entertainment has movies and videos mm. coming out. Um, there's cinemas. Go to Silverbird Cinemas, by the way. Go yeah. see latest movies that are coming out. Yeah. There's a lot going on, but it's just. It's just you have to choose an angle and just face and, and be a part of it because mm, yeah. entertainment in Nigeria is a big platform that is always going to be going up higher every stage of the way. Because over the weekend, I know there was two premieres and I know the Fast and Furious is coming out soon. It's also going to be Fast in now. Fast and Furious is already on the way. It's already on the way. So this is like going to be an amazing June, July. Mm -hmm. And July is the time to so just Bodyguard's get time. wife. There's a, there's a lot coming out. You see, out. there's a lot coming out. All right. All right. So I can't wait to see what is going on in terms of entertainment, right in the movies, mm -hmm. and of course on the scene, off and on the entertainment Music scene. everywhere. <laughs> All right. So we're going to be having a different twist to... to to, to the show and we're having a bit of a